the weather is 80 percent favorable for tomorrow morning's launch of the most powerful rocket in NASA history. It stands tall on pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center. CBS's Mark Strassman is there with more on the goal of this big mission. Mark. Hey, Jerika, NASA's update here. Everything seems good to go for launch. All the focus on the rocket you see behind me and a launch NASA hopes will lift everyone watching. On the eve of launch, some NASA engineers probably feel stress, but they intend to stress this SLS rocket in a test flight more demanding than if astronauts were aboard. We are going to push this thing to the limit to see if everything is performing right so that it's as safe as possible when we put the crew on it. This rocket is a monster, 322 feet tall and weighing almost 6 million pounds when fully fueled. For NASA, the stakes are just as massive. Artemis 1 needs to work. After liftoff, Artemis 1 will push its Orion capsule toward the moon for a three-week orbit before a return splashdown in the Pacific Ocean a 42-day flight covering 1.3 million miles, NASA's most ambitious moonshot since the Apollo era. It's got to be one of the most proud moments of my life. No one has moonwalked since 1972, the half century since Apollo 17 ended lunar landings for Americans for anyone. When this mission is over, you'll have a much better sense of what these guys went through. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and a whole new appreciation for it, too, I'm sure because I know it's not going to be easy. At liftoff, Rick Lebrode takes charge of Artemis One as its lead flight director. And how hurtful to the program would it be if it doesn't go right? It conceivably could be, it could end the program. I hope we don't have to worry about that. It's my goal. Sometime later this decade, NASA intends to see astronauts moonwalking again, including an astronaut of color and a woman. For many at NASA, the moon looks as close as it has in a half century. I do look at the moon differently. I'm sure we looked at it that way back when we were flying Apollo, but that's been a long time. NASA will tell you that wait is almost over, but its lunar landing timeline hinges on meeting a series of goals, and the first one is a big one, turning this launch into a space success story. Jerika? Mark, thank you.